So my name is Rudy Mauser, and um, I'm CEO and co-founder of the agency Amp Acoustic Branding. And we are here because um, we really appreciate to get the occasion to present our case study, um, the Linda case, um, to a really high professional um, audience um, because we are totally convinced that it's very important for us and for our colleagues to get this platform and um, to have, as I already said, the possibility to, um, yeah, uh, how could I say in English, to say, um, to have the opportunity to um, yeah, benefit from, 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 from those cases and to benefit um, if everybody from us has good cases to present, it's good for everybody of us, of our colleagues and of our agencies. My name is Michele Arnese, I'm co-founder of AMP as well, <coughs> a partner of Rudy, and uh, of course we are here with our case study. Maybe I can add just one sentence. Uh, the second reason because we are here because we want to listen to the customers but also to the colleagues. It's um, a new situation that happens once a year, then uh, we can uh, really exchange some work with colleagues. Listen to consumers means for us um, not only um, measure the consumers but also uh, try to understand and this is also a work that we are working on actually with our agency, um, try to understand how we can uh, learn more from the customers in order to address also the right emotional profiles of the customer with, with all the work that we do for our customers. And um, this is um, a triple work. It needs a work with a university together, also with a um, branding expert, with um, branding uh, strategy experts, and with our branding agencies. And we will try to do that work in next months. And this is really an inspiration to be here with that uh, team today because it's really that what we are working on. You mean what you just heard the whole day? So something special? So <laughs> of course, there's a lot of interesting points. So for me, for example, I really enjoyed the opening speech of Julian Thresher by um, telling us that everybody of us is slowly losing the awareness of hearing, of listening, of our hearing, of our ears. And uh, I think he is totally right. And um, me personally, um, I also recognize myself <laughs> by not taking care of that anymore in, in the right way, you know. <laughs> we are waiting for the decision about the award. So we are still enjoying the Congress. <laughs> and the great. Nervous. No, seriously, we can tell that um, we, we love the, the way that uh, people organize the, the Congress and uh, we are uh, very happy that someone is taking care, taking care about the community, if you want. Yeah, giving us a platform, as, a, yeah. as we said already. So that's really a, a big pleasure and thanks again from that point. <laughs> Now, for me was like uh, Rudy has said, for me was the, the opening keynote yeah. because um, he took some points that are not in our everyday work. Okay, after we, we talk about a lot of topics that are our uh, everyday topics, but the first talk was more general, was a meta talk and, and I would like to uh, be inspired from that talk. For me was the, yeah. the, the most interesting point today just to go away from our everyday and think about the development of um, right. the auditive um, contest in which we are live. Uh, yes, one point, uh, maybe if uh, we can talk more about sound, not only music. So it's, it's uh, 
We have hear, heard mm -hmm. today also some sometimes the points, but uh, for us is um, uh, what we hear doesn't matter if it is music, if it is sound, and uh, it's uh, all uh, an experience and. Uh, maybe some more works also in this direction, or to treat the team mm. sound as well in the topics of the conference. Yeah.